So if you have a vehicle and you go out and you check the transmission fluid and it's overfilled and there's too much in there and you're wondering what can happen or what the symptoms of too much transmission fluid is, well, I thought I'd go over what the symptoms are and how you go about reducing it to get it into the right range. And so first of all, what is overfilled and when should you worry about that? And it could be a little bit different depending on the manufacturer exactly how you check the transmission fluid. Sometimes you could check it hot or cold. Sometimes it'll be hot and you'll need to put it in park and then other times you have to put it in neutral. Usually you'll say on the dipstick or something like that exactly how to check the transmission fluid to see what the correct level is but basically right here on this dipstick if you had the engine warmed up and the transmission was hot it shouldn't be more than a quarter inch above the hot line or else there could be an issue and you might want to think about reducing how much is in there if it starts going over a quarter inch then you could start getting into problems where you could damage the transmission or something like that I have seen some mechanics will go up to like half an inch over the line but I wouldn't do that personally of course it's gonna be up to you but basically if it's a quarter inch over the line then I would think about draining some transmission fluid and so what are some symptoms of too much transmission fluid? Well, first of all, when you pull the transmission dipstick out, the fluid's going to look foamy and it's going to have like bubbles in it quite often. This can also be caused by other things like if condensation got in there or things like this. But foamy transmission is very common when it's overfilled. And so that's something to look for. Another thing that can happen is that the transmission starts to overheat because it's got a lot more pressure inside of there and it's really having to work and all this pressure is going on pushing that fluid around. And so you could even get like a transmission light coming on or the computer telling you that the transmission's overheating, but the transmission getting hot would be another symptom. Another symptom would be that it's not shifting correctly anymore, or you have to really rev it up before it goes to shift into like another gear. So like you really have to rev it up and then it goes in a second and you really have to rev it up and it goes in a third, or it just has some strange problems when you go to shift. So if you've got some kind of shifting problem, then you can always go and check and see what the transmission fluid level is. And then another symptom that can happen is that the seals start to leak because there's so much pressure inside of there that it's pushing out on all the seals. And so they can start to leak. And usually when this happens, you'll start to see a puddle of transmission fluid or something like that underneath the vehicle. It could really vary. If it's just starting to leak, then it might just have a little bit around it or something like that, around some of the bolts or something along those lines. But the next thing up is that the seals start to leak. And so how can you go about reducing the transmission fluid? Well, one of the first things you can look for is that if you have a drain plug on the transmission pan, you can go and look and see if you have one. These aren't too common. Quite often there isn't one, especially if you have like a Ford or a Chevy or something like that. There usually isn't one. But if you have like a Toyota, sometimes there is another method to get some of that transmission fluid out is you could get a pump and basically you just pull the dipstick out and you put the hose down in there and then you just pump out however much you want this is a very common method and probably the best method to do if you have an option these pumps are pretty low cost and they work pretty well and so if you have to drain the fluid then get one of these would probably be your best option and then the next option is just to go get your transmission fluid changed if you get it changed and they do it right then it should take all that fluid out and they should add in the correct amount but if you check that fluid and it's really overfilled and you don't have any options to reduce how much is in there then you can just go and get the transmission fluid changed and when they add in the new transmission fluid it should be at the correct amount and so that's basically it I just wanted to go over what to look for and the symptoms when too much transmission fluid was added if you have anything to add please comment down below if you have any questions ask me and I'll try to answer them if this video helps you please click like please click subscribe and have a good day